What is in my tackle bag for 2019? <laughs> um, I did this video in 2017. I explained the bag and everything. I also did this video in 2018 and now I have people requesting this video for 2019. So today's video is going to be what is in my tackle bag. But before we get into the contents of the bag like we've done before, I will say that this is the Plano A-Series Tackle Backpack. And this backpack kind of holds a sentimental value to me. And if you're wondering why, that's because this is the Tackle Backpack that, well, it's the most recent Tackle Backpack that I got before I started my YouTube channel. This has been with me on <laughs> all of my fishing trips, bank fishing, out on the boat, Lake St. Clair, Lake Michigan, Lake Huron, out with all the other YouTubers and Instagrammers I've fished with, subscribers, you name it. This Plano A-Series Tackle Backpack has a lot of different compartments. It's overall a great bag. I like it. You'll find that, you know, it's, I think it was like 60 or $70, but I do believe it is worth the money. Um, I could sit here and tell you about the bag and the padding and the straps and the zippers and how faded it is from the sun, but we're going to skip all that and we're just going to go right into the tackle. So I hope you guys enjoy. And if you are new to my channel, this video is also intended towards you guys that haven't seen one of these yet. Okay, so normally I would open the bag, show you what's in the bag, all the trays. I did a bunch of filming for this, so we're gonna be incorporating that as well. But anyway, might as well get started. This pocket right here. See, it kind of looks messy. First up, you have the Rapala lip grip I use this once in a while you know or sometimes I'll tear my scale to zero and use it as a lip grip and then hook the scale to it up here you know just I mean it's always good to have one of these which and that'll bring you to the next piece of Rapala and that is the 50 pound digital scale the heat turned on turn the scale on Pounds, ounces, zeros, press it to tear it. You can go to different, select different bins, turn it off. Then you have the Rapala Superline scissors. And yes, these are very good for Superline, very good for cutting braid. I like these a lot. The only issue I know, well, the only issue with these is that they will get rust sometimes. I mean, they're going to get wet from baits and stuff. These last me anywhere from a few months to six months, or sometimes longer, depends. And looks like we have a Strike King Red Eye Shad in the half ounce. Unopened from the fall, the Chili Craw. This is not the Tungsten 2 Tap, this is the regular, which I use both. <laughs> See, speaking of the 2 Tap Tungsten, <laughs> regular 2 Tap. Anyway, so moving on. To this side, you have the, well, excuse me, you have a container with swim baits. This is the Kytec, the Kytec 4.8 inch swing impact fat. There's a bunch of different ways to fish these jig heads, Texas rigs, swim bait hooks. The list goes on. Not going to really get into that. Just trying to show you guys what is in the bag, because a lot of you guys have expressed interest in that. Well, some of you guys have. Usually these videos are pretty popular. What else is in here? Like I always say, a pair of the Rapala gloves. You never know when you're going to need them. Or when a friend or someone will need them. Oh, back to Rapala. That might be garbage, even though Penguin is a great color. I like these uh, these front pockets too. I was just about to tell you how they button closed and then I couldn't get it closed. You have a pass to an island and another place that I fished and my fishing license. I know it's in a Walmart case that I'm gonna have to renew here in a couple months. 
I usually keep those there. I mean, it is common sense. Everybody should know this, but I do not fish without a license. That is, in, that is even when I'm bank fishing and river fishing. It's just common sense. There's a lighter in there. You never know when you're going to need that. You know what's in here? Football jig, football jig, garbage. Um, here's a 3 8 football jig from Strike King. Of course, with the Gamagatsu hooks. I've always liked that one. And then you also have the Gamagatsu offset chain from EWG 3 out hook. Uh, excuse me, the Superline EWG. Uh, I like these for Texas rigs better than I do the regulars. I used to use both, but then I just decided to start using these all the time. I've just found that works better for me. And of course, more garbage in the bag. I told you guys that I was going to clean the bag out and like redo it. Well, I haven't got around to doing that, so bear with me on that. Plastics galore up top. Rage Craw. Kitex Swing Impact 4 inch. Brush Hog. Look, there's one out of the package. Oh, it's because I left the package open. Oh, yeah, start in the disaster. Anyway, Brush Hog. The Trench Hog. Fat Baby Finesse. More Senko. Coffee Tube. Vile Craw. I do a lot of a lot of Texas rigs, a lot of weightless Texas rigs, jig trailers, jig heads. Okay. I have to mention it every time. Every time. The natural goby. I just kind of can't go without mentioning this bait. This box desperately needs to, to be updated. Well, not desperately. I mean, I've got a lot of... Three eighths football jigs, half ounce football jigs, uh, a couple flipping jigs, structure jigs. This is my jig box. And why in the world is the Gantero Jr. in my jig box? That's a good question. But it is. So, jig box, and I guess uh, also a swim jig. The Gantero is also in the jig box. <laughs> anyway. This right here, this is my all-time favorite box. I keep saying it, and I'm gonna keep saying it because of what I put in it. Because, because of what I put in it. Vision 110s, plus ones, 110 juniors, square bills, lipless crankbaits, diving Rapala crankbaits, small ones. Oh, look. The Mega Bass Diving Flap Slap next to the FX Knuckle 60. See, as time goes, I'm liking crankbaits, jerkbaits, squirrelbills, lipless crankbaits, all that kind of stuff a lot more. I, I've always liked it. I've always fished them. But especially in the past year, I've learned that, that I feel like these baits are a lot more versatile than people give them credit for just in my opinion quarter ounce weights half ounce weights three quarter uh offside shank room ewg hooks super line hooks five eighths and quarter ounce tube jigs a green pumpkin tube a swim bait hook i need more finesse hooks look a pre-rigged carolina rig it's a mess it's dirty um one thing that i do recommend even though i don't do it so that does make me a little bit of a hypocrite i guess <laughs> is I'm going to start keeping the hooks in the package inside this box because if you don't, you'll get hooks that rust over time once you get water on them. I mean, sometimes it does it a lot to me, sometimes it doesn't, but top water. Spook, KVD, KVD Sexy Dog Jr., Whopper Plopper 130, Whopper Plopper 90, Rebel Pop R, BPS Popper, Live Target Frog, Booyah Pad Crasher, Megabass Dog X Diamante. Look at that. Look at that Megabass. That's one thing I have to say. By the way, Spook, Yozuri. That's one thing I have to say about Megabass baits. Yes, they're expensive. Yes, they're pricey. Yes, they are a little bit ridiculous. But I do truly believe they're the price is justified. I mean, 
Do I think it should be a little bit cheaper with the same features and the same and the same quality bait? Yes, I do, but I mean, you get what you pay for, even though that, like I keep saying, it's ridiculous, but you get what you pay for at the same time. It's it's weird. Half ounce, three eighths, quarter ounce, original Z-Man cheddar baits, KVD spinner bait, War Eagle. Take that scale out. Fifth, <laughs> of course. Take that scale out and do this in your video. It's gonna be so epic. And then you drop the the cover to the batteries for the whatever. Gotta tear it. Yep, pounds, ounces, zeros. How much does this bag weigh? 13 pounds, zero ounces. Like I said, I've taken this bag everywhere. It's been on all of the boats I've been on. Paddle boats, aluminum boats, bass boats, flat bottom, blah, 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 blah. The list goes on. Bank fishing, river fishing. I'm tired from work. Let me know in the comments. What do you guys use for your tackle box? Yes, I included you guys because you guys are just as important. Tackle bag or whatever. I mean, I know a lot of you guys store it on your boat, which obviously, duh. But I wanna hear from the guys that have a tackle bag or tackle box, like kind of more than anything. Cause I know you guys can really relate to this. But anyway, that is going to be it for me for the tackle bag video. And I will see you guys sometime.